Embers, the course, what it is, and who it's for. Hello, I'm Ed Panacek. I'm the Embers course director. And this presentation is designed to provide an overview for the course for individuals who might be interested in taking it. The Embers course name is an acronym that stands for the Emergency Medicine Basic Research Skills course, and that's exactly what it is. It's a course that's designed to teach the basic research skills with an emergency medicine focus. Although basic research skills are pretty universal, the emergency medicine focus provides a unique aspect to this course. What's the purpose of the course? The purpose of this course is and always has been to increase the number and the quality of emergency medicine researchers. It came out of a committee function on ASEP and the research committee uh, to develop such a course. It was modeled after the mini fellowship teaching uh, course that was already in existence. Some of their minor modifications from that. The first offering was in 1997, and it's been given annually ever since then, generally to about 30 uh, students per class. So what is the uh, uh, content of the course, and how did this come to be? When we first developed the course, we could not find any models out there in existence that were at all similar to this, so we pretty much had to develop it from scratch. As near as we can tell, it still is relatively unique to emergency medicine, doesn't really exist in any other specialty out there. The course started with a trial and error sort of curriculum designed by experienced researchers in the field and then it has evolved over the years based upon feedback from the students such that we pretty much have boiled it down to a course that works extremely well for the goals that we have for this. Before I tell you what the course is, let me just spend a moment talking about what the course isn't. This course is not the equivalent of a research fellowship. It's not the equivalent of getting an advanced degree, such as a master's in public health. It's not meant to be a full statistics course. It's not meant to be a full computer technology course or a full grant writing seminar. Those already exist. If you're interested in those sorts of things, you can take them out there. It's also not meant to be the end of your research education. What the course is, is designed to be a hands-on workshop in which you actually experience the process of performing research analyzing data. It's designed to be an introduction to clinical research for the research novice. It's designed to be a boost in your research skills if you already have some experiences or you're a semi-experienced researcher. It's meant to be a refresher for people that did research in the past but perhaps haven't done it for some time and want to get back up to speed in terms of that. It's also meant to be an inspiration for you to learn more in your research education. How is the course structured? First of all, let me point out that this course uh, requires a major dedication in terms of time and energy. It is a full 11 days of actual course time split, split between two different sessions. The first session is generally in the fall. It's about eight days long. There's a five-month break in between, but during that break you have to complete class projects, including writing a grant, and then it returns for three more days, generally in the spring, to talk about some more advanced topics and present the proposed grant presentations. Session one covers the basic skills necessary to be able to develop a full grant uh, project. Uh, session two covers more advanced skills and then the presentation of the uh, projects. The goal of this course is that by the end of the course, the student will be able to do everything listed on the slide, properly frame a research question, generate and understand study hypotheses, select an appropriate study design, be able to develop a protocol capable of answering those questions, perform sample size calculations, manage your results in a database, perform simple descriptive st statistics on your data, understand the basic statistical tests, search for sources of extramural research funding and research grants, be able to actually complete a, a grant application, review uh, journal uh, manuscripts for journals, and be able to write up and present your entire study project. This uh, course requires that a grant be completed in that in-between time between the two sessions, which requires a substantial amount of time to bring that to completion. However, at the end of that, one of the members of the class will win the Embers uh, class grant, which is a $5,000 grant given out by the Emergency Medicine Foundation. How is the course formatted? This is not simply a series of didactic lectures in which the students sit back passively and listen. This is a hands-on workshop. 
it has three main elements to it. There's the content knowledge about research methodology, but then you actually practice with actual emergency medicine research uh, studies themselves. And then you have a hands-on application where you actually apply the principles, develop study protocols, develop research questions, and obviously complete the entire grant application. There is that deadline pressure of completing that grant application by the time you come back in the spring that essentially gets all of these uh, goals accomplished. As a workshop, there will be a number of small group sessions in which you work together in groups of two or three, working on individual projects, answering questions, trying to identify study designs. It also has a substantial amount of time of computer work, uh, working with computer databases, doing simple statistics and analysis. And there's a fair amount of one-on-one -on -one time, direct time, with highly experienced faculty or the speakers in this course. So you get to build a relationship with individual faculty members. The, who takes the Embers course? Although it varies somewhat from year to year, on average we found that about a third of the attendees are junior faculty who are research novices who haven't really uh, performed research before. About a third of the people taking the course are fellows. You, not usually in research fellowships, but in other fellowships such as pediatric, toxicology, EMS, in which they use the Embers course as the research component to their fellowship training program. And then the other third are a mixture of people. Some of them are senior EM faculty who are going back and taking it as a refresher or changing careers more into a research focus. But every year we also have some individuals who take the course who are either not physicians there are other individuals involved in research, could come from a nursing or paramedic background, a master's degree, even PhDs. And occasionally we also have individuals who are not emergency medicine physicians take the course who have simply heard about it. All of these individuals seem to enjoy the course and get the same benefits out of it. On behalf of all the faculty and staff involved in the Embers course, I want to thank you for your interest in the course. I hope you found this presentation to be helpful in making a decision whether to attend the course or not. Additional information and registration materials can be found on the ASEP website. Thank you very much.